This is an update video to my equipment. Um, I did one a while back, but now, as you can see, a lot has changed. So I'll just go over each one briefly since I did go over it more in depth in the last video. So I'll put, I'll probably copy the description from the other video. But yeah, so <laughs> here's my equipment. So first of all is the signal. I'll go over each part one by one. So first of all is this safe train mechanical bell I bought off of eBay. It's all the way from America and it's in pretty good shape. It is a bit clunky, but it still sounds pretty good. And this cross buck I got, um, all the signs on the signal I got from somebody who had removed them. I forget from where, but they were decommissioned. And here's my lights. Both are Westinghouse incandescent. One is silver and one is black. Um, both are marked. I got them both from an uh, antique store in, I think, Rosedale, I want to say. Yeah, Rosedale. And obviously, stop and run signal sign as well, which has a black back. And the base I'll go over as well. Um, I have a few pieces here, but it's so the base. It's all custom built. Um, there's wheels on the back so you can roll it around and just the middle thing so it doesn't fall over. The pole is just a stainless steel 4 inch pole. Nothing too special or anything. And the wires for the light do go down the pole except the ones for the bell I couldn't get them all the way down. So they're just sitting at the back. And yeah, now I'll show the signal in action. Um, I will pan out to a different shot but I'm just showing how to turn it on. So I have a switch. Normally the bell is hooked up to the circuit, but for some reason, like the power, there isn't enough power getting to the bell. Like it works fine with my Western Colin Hayes, but with this, it's not working as well. So I'm just attaching it to a separate battery. So here are the lights. They are a bit quick, but it's about the best I could do. I made all the circuitry myself, not too bad. Um, I can show a photo now of the circuits if you want to hook up your own lights. And so here it is with the bell. Oops, sorry. And yeah, that's the signal, and I'll turn off the lights. And that's that. The next bit of equipment I'll go over is my Wabco Bell. I got this off of Facebook Marketplace for 550 bucks, and I'm not sure exactly where it's from. The guy that I got it off did contracting work in Cobram and Castlemaine. So, but no crossings around those areas had... Wabco Bells, what I think, where I think it's from is probably in Maryborough, from Railway Street, just south. Since that had a Wabco Bell in, before 2010, I think. So here's the bell, I've just moved it out so you can see it a bit easier. Um, it looks, it's pretty clean, not very rusty or anything. Um, the reason it has this marker stuff is because I was trying to get the bolt loose so I could take off the gong. However, I have not been successful. I will clean it up in the future a bit. Um, here it is from the side. Rain shield in with the back. Here's the back with the logo and vase. I did remove the screw. I have it still, so it's okay. And here's the other side. So now we'll look inside. The screw at the top is loose enough that you could just unscrew it with your hand, which is nice. It is a bit squeaky, but there we go. Um, here it is. It doesn't have the paper, though. It's on the back. But here's the inside. It's all working, which is good. 
Um, I'm not sure what this piece is. I haven't seen it before, but that's part of it. And uh, when I first got it, it was a little bit hard to start because of how many cobwebs and stuff were in the gong. I did get them out though, so now it runs a bit better. Um, it also took me a while to figure out how to wire it up considering it has this new piece. So I actually saw the old connectors for when it was in the signal. So here's one of them and then the other one is here. So that's how I knew how to wire it up. So yeah, now I'll show it in action as well. Okay, so first here's the bell from the back activating and what the mechanism looks like. So it sounds pretty good, which is nice, very consistent. So now I'll show it from the front as well. And here it is from the front. So let me just turn it on. And that's the lab code bell. So now we move on to the next thing. I forgot I also need to do the save trend bell by itself just to show the mechanisms and stuff. So here it is, so a bit dirty. It's from the front the side. It does sit back quite a bit, so it is back heavy. But it doesn't tip over, so that's good. And here's the logo. And so now we'll open up and look inside. It does take a little while to open up because the screw does have to go pretty far in or else the whole back of the bell shakes when it rings, which is a bit annoying, but you can't do anything about it. So there we go. And here's what it looks inside. There's the terminals, the mechanism. It is a bit clicky. Um, I'm not sure how to fix that right now. I might try and figure it out in the future, but it's the terminal. Safe Train Systems Corporation. And here are the papers. And yeah, now I'll show it ring just by itself. Well, I can hook it up right now. So. Positive. And here's the bell ring from the back. it from the back now I'll show it from the front as well okay now we have it ringing from the front so here it is just make the battery a bit that's it moving from the front and so yeah just wanted to add that quickly okay the third bell in the video. Also, the first one which I ever got is my Wessing Helen Hayes second generation bell. Um, it used to be very rusty, but it is all cleaned up now. It's mostly just paint. It wasn't polished or anything. It's just spray. Um, and there is a crack in the rain shield, which was fixed up a bit. It used to be a lot worse. Um, I got this off of Facebook Marketplace as well for 300. It was around Ballarat, I think. So yeah, it probably came off of an old V-line crossing. So here's the valve from the front. And side, and here's the back of it. And I have noticed that it is slightly smaller, or maybe it's just that my Wabco bell is slightly bigger than all the bells, but now we'll take a look in the back. Okay, so we'll just unscrew it here. Oops, sneak peek. Okay, so here's the back. It is very clean. This is the cleanest bell I have. So here's the inside. And yeah, here's the paper as well. So 
serial number. Yeah. So that's the bell. Now I'll show it in action. Oh, actually, I have to open that. Um, I think this is my loudest bell. So, well, first of all, here it is ringing from the back. And here we go. Yeah, definitely my loudest bell. So that what is it ringing from the back. And now I'll show it from the front. And here it is from the front ringing. And yeah, that was my Western Holly Hayes bell. I'm gonna go over some of the smaller pieces in my collection, like signs. So this is a 60 speed limit sign. Um, some of these are just picked off of the side of the road, like they've been like fallen down or something. This sign was from Kyneton at Richie's Road. It had fallen off of the pole. This sign we got from the people that gave me my Western Cullen Hayes bell. Um, the searchlight background was from <clears throat> the antique store in Rosedale as well. We got it for free and it came with the light for some reason. Because they thought it was part of it. Though it obviously isn't. And a look for train sign. And I also do have a no parking sign at all times sign, which I'll get just quickly. And yeah, this is the last sign I have. So those are all my signs. And I also have some rail spikes. I forget where I got most of them from. I think these, this one, or actually maybe they're all from the the Bungary Loop, which closed, I think earlier this year. So that's cool. And this is a door handle off of a homage, which I found just on the ground randomly. So that's cool. And here's a Unipart LED gate light, which I also got. It isn't wired up right now, but it usually is. So yeah. That's the smaller parts of my collection. Lastly, I wanted to do some bell combinations. So I can only do two at a time because I only have two extra batteries. So first of all, we'll do the Wabco and the Western Con Hayes bell. So I'll just hook it up quickly. So here's the Wabco and the Western Con Hayes ring. <sighs> Gotta get a good position so I can get it at the same time. Okay, next I'm gonna do my Western Cullen Hayes and my Safe Train Bell. So, here's this. Sorry the clips aren't too long, I just don't want to be too loud because there are other people in the house, so. So now we move on to the next one. So finally I have my Wabco and my Safe Train Bell. So here's this. And yeah, that was the Wabco and the Safe Train Bell. And so that completes the showcase of all my equipment. I hope you enjoyed and yeah, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.